welcome to Divine Miracles. Thank you so much for subscribing. And I am going to do a messages from the um, your animal spirit guides. Remember, we have many of them. And so, what I might do is, depending on which um, depending on which card comes out for us today, we'll do a little attunement to that particular um, animal if that's if that's what you want to do, because I think that's fun and I think it's it's very very helpful. And of course, I just do things on the spot. You know. Um, We'll work something out. <laughs> okay, so I hope that you're all um, happy and well wherever you are and you've been enjoying yourself. And I am going, getting ready to go to Brisbane very, very soon. I'm not sure exactly when you're seeing this video actually. Um, yeah, so anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle these cards and we shall see what message that we have. Oh, this is cool. We got the snow leopard. Okay, nice to have the leopard achievement. Take some time out of your usual life and spend it in solitude. I'll read a little bit of this to you and then we shall do a little achievement. Okay, it can be difficult these days to spend time in solitude, to unplug, get off the electronic grid and find a quiet place in or near nature. Yet it's important to do so at this time. Turning off everything, phone, computer, television, if only for a few hours. Although you may feel a little anxious and restless when you do so, these feelings will pass. Use the time for contemplation and meditation. It's not isolation, it's solitude. Solitude is a conscious and loving choice to be alone for a period of time. While isolation is a habitual and reflexive coping pattern to avoid discomfort and intimacy. If possible, take a full day by yourself and just do whatever you feel like doing. Whatever length of time you spend in solitude, be sure to write as often as you can in your journal. If you should feel guilty or anxious about the thought of doing this or even while you're actually doing it, use your breath to help you relax as much as you possibly can during the period of alone time. Remind yourself to breathe and relax. Whenever you notice your breathing becoming shallow, Take three or four slow deep breaths and watch how your tension and anxiety dissipate. Enjoy the feeling of having the sacred space of solitude around you and remember you're never really alone. So self-reliance, balance, silence, stealth, confidence, determination, perseverance, containment, sensitivity, intuition, reliability, mysterious, integration and shamanism. Okay. So now we're just going to do a little bit of an attunement to the beautiful, peaceful snow leopard. I wonder how this will go for you. I would like to, um, because of the, the attributes of the snow le leopard having most confidence and you know um, mysteriousness and intuition, I liked those words as we were talking about them. And you know, just being able to find time alone. Um, this is what we're going to be working on. We're going to ask the snow leopard to be working with us through us with our confidence levels. So basically working through the heart chakra, up through the um, brow chakra and the, the crown chakras and really cleansing and opening these areas and feeling a connection to the snow leopard within us. And uh, you know, this has come out for a reason. Um, he's there for a reason. And um, also if you like your athletics and things, that's something else I was thinking of. You know, if you like running, why not be able to run faster with the snow leopard as your ally. So anyway, let's just close our eyes now and just follow along with what I'm saying. So now we are asking for the energy of the snow leopard to be with each and every one of us. Taking a deep breath in and out. Breathe in the good energy. Breathe out the negative energy. Once again, breathe in the good energy. Breathing out the negative energy. Okay. Now I would like for you to just imagine yourself on top of a beautiful white mountain. 
or a mountain is obviously covered in snow. All you can see is mountains all around you. The sun is shining. You're very, very warm. You're really protected and safe. And you're looking around on top of this beautiful mountain. And you decide to just sit down and lie back on the top of the mountain, soaking in the fresh air, feeling the breeze gently over your face, allowing the sun to shine down on you. And as you're laying there just relaxing, you're feeling very, very safe and very, very calm. You sense a presence approaching you, but you are not afraid at all. I actually feel excited with this presence coming up beside you. And as you open your eyes gently, you can see a beautiful snow leopard sitting down next to you. And he's looking at you with his big blue eyes and beautiful white fur with the sun shining on his back. And as you're looking at him and he's looking at you, you notice that he's lifting up his paw and he wants you to take his paw. And when you take his paw, you can feel the magical energy coursing through the body. A connection is made. He silently tells you his name. Just accept the first name that you sense, feel or hear. He silently tells you his name. And then he sings the name to you. He's singing it gently. He's not opening his mouth, you can just hear him. And you sing your name back to him, mentally. And at this moment, your heart chakra opens. And so does the heart chakra of the snow leopard. A beam of light goes out between you and up, up, up through your nose, through your mind, out through your ears, this light is shining, this golden light, healing and releasing and allowing. Now you can see some symbols in the air floating towards you. These are your attunement symbols. Just say, I now accept this attunement for my highest good to go where it is needed. Take a breath in and feel your shoulders relax. As you've taken in the beautiful attunement in the golden, golden light. And the snow leopard comes right up to your nose and snuggles up to you. You're able to pat him. And then he walks away. But you know that you've always got a part of him within you. As he's walking away, he turns around to watch you one last time. And he puts his paw out and he lays down slightly like he's bowing to you and you bow back the connection is made and never lost just close your eyes for a moment just feel that feeling see yourself back on the top of the mountain standing up see yourself having a nice big stretch and you run down the side of the mountain, ready for your life to begin. There you go everyone. That was a beautiful attunement to the snow leopard. Um, I hope that each one of you felt that. 
and it is time to go in within and think about what you're doing and think about your life and think about where you want to be and you know allow this attunement to unfold if you need uh, help with your um, weight or your fitness um, you know or just feeling healthy within work with the snow leopard giving you ideas on uh, you know how to increase your stamina your endurance um, what exercises are right for you um, also will help you to open your intuition we've had this beautiful opening now of the heart chakra and the brow the third eye chakra and the um, crown chakra also has all been nicely lifted so it's a good idea now to just go and imagine light through each of the other chakras uh, imagine when you are holding your stomach say for example um, and you know that you've got the, the solar plexus is the yellow um, and uh, you've got the, the sacral chakra as the orange and you've got the, the base chakra in the red there so imagine those three colors so start with the yellow one and as you're breathing out like that imagine that this solar plexus chakra starts to spin so you're blowing it it's spinning and it's it's getting whiter and whiter we want these to be almost white with just a tinge of color that's how we want the chakras to look then you go to the next one orange it's mostly white with a slight bit of orange through it it's spinning beautifully lots of light in the body means that you are going to be well when they start getting clogged down and dirty and really dull looking then you're not going to feel well so we want to constantly do this we don't want to obsess over it though I know some people are like I'm constantly doing this and I'm constantly doing that I, I don't think that's right either to obsess you know so do your chakras when you feel like it but you don't have to obsess over things you don't have to constantly clear once you've asked for clearing it's done you have to remember that um, you go through different exercises to help you um, do things in different ways that's fine but as long as you always remember that once you've done something you've, you've done it once you've asked for something it's done do not attach yourself back to issues um, and so many people do that I do that myself sometimes I have to remind myself not to attach myself back to drama okay so I hope that you guys enjoyed this beautiful um, really different attunement to the snow leopard and I will do my best to um, bring um, attunements to each one of these animals as we go along and um, it may be a good idea for me to write some up at my website for you as well um, I'm not sure how I'll do it but I will be making a whole lot of mp3s for you guys and they are attunement mp3s and you can just listen to them and start to attune and each one of them will be different because um, I don't do anything the same twice because I don't write anything down <laughs> so you guys got me on the spot with that as well so anyway we'll see how it goes so thank you very much for listening I hope that you enjoyed that and uh, until the next video uh, which could be anything you never know um, it's goodbye from me bye everyone